Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond Downtown Disney today. We're going to do a little update. Yeah, we haven't been here in a, a little bit and it's also really fun to come to Downtown Disney because you don't need park admission. A lot of people always ask us, what can I do if I can't get a reservation to the park or I can't right. get into the park? Because they are expensive. Let's not That's lie. I was going to say, you also don't need a reservation. Yeah, you don't need anything. You can just come to Downtown Disney. So we have some things to show you and update you on. Yeah. And there is something that we're kind of not excited to try. But we're oh, going to try it no, anyway. No, I just realized what you were... She, yeah. We don't talk about these openings and I didn't realize she was going to... Yeah, so... It's going to be awful. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it aside from that. Yeah, me too. All right, let's go. By the way, where we did this opening, kind of a cool uh, view that I've never really kind of stood right here and noticed how big this pond was uh, right here next to the old Rainforest Cafe. It's just so sad because Rainforest Cafe was awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's what that's why this is so cool right here. Uh, but look at that view. I don't know. I just wanted to point that out before we head in. But I see some uh, vertical construction. Let's go check it out. Wow. Big old fence up in front of ESPN Zone, former ESPN Zone. I keep calling things that, like Splash Mountain. I can't, I can't yeah, not I call it Splash Mountain. Area Until area it's Tiana's, it's, it's still Splash, Until kind of. Until it's actually up and renamed. Or do we call it just... Project X? But we know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's just a weird thing. Like, what do you X call is it? Twitter now. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. So, so I, yeah, I, keep, I can't use that. I keep saying the old names too. I feel like it's just until it's officially done. Yeah. You know, sometimes I've said Tiana Project. Oh, that's a good idea. But that's Maybe I'll do still, that. It's, again, it's your memory and when you're talking. You know? I like that though. I'm going to try to start using this that. This will always be Rainforest Cafe, by the way. Well, yeah. Because I'm sorry, that needs to come back. This was a big mistake Disney made. Yeah. That goes down to me as one of the biggest mistakes. Was that an ever. opening right there? No, originally not that I remember. or a window or something it looks like it though huh? yeah who knows all right it's been so long i don't remember yeah what is happening here uh is this going through as part of its transformation maybe it is i see i see uh plastic and painter's tape uh over there so you know please please keep off the stage ma'am step away all right we're in like a maze over here but katie thinks that's going to be din tai fung because of the architecture i think on these those outer portions uh it looks of it looks you know it looks the part listen if that whole building is going to be din tai fung yeah are you kidding me yeah i am so happy i will be frolicking here all the time now these fences for uh in front of espn zone extend all the way down around here so no food truck over here no visiting the uh mickey hundredth sculpture and i think they moved it i could have sworn i saw it the other day somewhere we'll I keep our eyes out happen over here. clearly going to be under construction for you know the new downtown disney you know concept but the question is what is happening with this building what is happening with this building and when we've heard oh, so many Beat oh beat alicia we've heard a lot of rumors we have that we, we don't want to say any because they're there's no. some of them are pretty out there but if i am starting a, a rumor that i could be pretty darn confident about it's about that's going to be did type all right that's really all i got that's a wishful thinking and that's one too only because of architecture that's all i got oh there is a food truck here so, uh so it's 4 p.m monday through thursday 12 p.m friday through sunday okay so they can park over there so they can at least have one over there uh where we started the video so this this is all new okay we found the mickey statue obviously um way better place and look at this this is all brand new you guys this was behind the fence this is all new planner work we saw these forms in one of our updates from the monorail we didn't know what it was we were speculating but here you go and then look at this path they built with all this uh kind of crushed marble it looks like i really don't know dave what is this stuff uh a nice surface is this uh terrazzo am i on track at all anyways uh we can hear some construction going on behind yeah, katie uh do not climb on the statue which is a good note uh darn it i was just about to go i on the know i mean you know what I, I just feel like he's better uh appreciated right here Honestly, for some reason yeah i feel like it's so much better than that back corner he was in right i think so i don't know i love it i think it's really cool almost like i wonder if they they did it on purpose and built this curve knowing they were going to put this there so anyways oh yeah uh, it'd be cool if that could actually stay and that was like a, a thing you know i think it should and i wonder if this path is going to continue or how it's gonna how they're gonna end it but uh as we can see across the way yeah the station has uh been getting some attention we see some some workers up there right now and we actually got a shot um on the other side when we were walking through the yeah you can see the the station all draped and scaffold and canopy and stuff and then this side you can see the colors a really nice blue 
Uh, so there you go. It kind of reminds me of the old, you know, yeah. station. It's just crazy how many changes are going on. Oh my gosh, I hear work over there oh. on this new building. Let's see what it is. What All is right. that? That's that building, that other building we saw from the monorail. We'll put in shots of what it looked like before. So that way you can see the, the difference. Yeah, because we can't get in the monorail right now. The next time we get in the monorail, it's going to be vastly different over there. Yeah. Uh, because nobody's been able to get over there uh, unless somebody gets you know the hotel yeah. if anybody we know is staying in the hotel coming up recently uh, or soon and you can get a shot looking down on this on Send the site to us. yeah Send that'd be cool to our email, best life and beyond at yahoo we'll give you credit and all that and we'll hype you up uh, it'd, be, it'd be kind of fun right <laughs> got to do something in case I forget before you know later we get distracted sometimes and I go oh, I'll come back later but we must say hello to Lego Beast Hello, Lego Beast. Don't worry, we're not ignoring you guys. I, I just feel like it's necessary sometimes because I'll forget. Beautiful day here with these palm trees and these high clouds. And look at this over here at Pin Traders. They're carrying some of the Halloween ears, the necklace, the Actually, bubble like wand. Almost all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they're missing one pair. Yeah, look at this. I mean, that's cool. But this is like what you could get right when you walk in the park. So, uh, you know, if you can't make it to the park wherever. But you know what I did see that they don't have in Disneyland that I've seen yet? It is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yeah. The uh, light up necklace, which they do every year. But it's a bunch of different uh, Jack Skellington faces. We've seen the ears in World of Disney, but I have yet to see these in the parks or at World of Disney as of, you know, right now. Too bad it's too hot, but look at the beanie. Yeah, I know. Beanie's cool. Okay. Good old blue ribbon coming in clutch. Uh, they still got the pickle dog, but the thing that people are talking about, it's got people all fired up, is this giant jalapeno popper, so poblano pepper, poblano. bacon, cheddar, and cream cheese mixture fried in cornmeal batter, rolled in panko bread crumbs served with a bag of chips. Everything with a bag of chips. Would you eat that? I might try it just because I don't think a poblano is hot. I don't think so either. They have that pickle Yeah, I don't know which one I would butter. be more like. Honestly, none of those sound good and I love uh, pickles. There are certain things I'll do for this channel that these cross the line for me. I would try both of these for the yeah. channel. You have to like, you have to like that. So I don't eat jalapeno peppers and I don't like peppers like that so <laughs> all right we're coming up on tortilla joe's uh we're long overdue for a meal over there and of course if you didn't know the jazz kitchen had its big facelift it's the coastal grill and patio now and it looks amazing we still haven't really stepped in there aside from going to the new beignets expressed which is so good i wonder if they have some seasonal beignets right now let's go check yeah it out. let's go look you never know all right we've tried that it was pretty good actually it was really good i feel like dude these beignets are so good and again I think we've all declared it and it's official. I didn't get as much pushback as I thought. I actually had more people agreeing that these beignets are better than the Mickey beignets in Disneyland. And I like the, the my favorite's the sweet uh, sugar glazed and- uh, The simply glazed one? Yeah. Yeah. You can see them making the stuff. That's what's really cool. That's not pizza dough, folks. Look what they turn out to look like. Oh, these amazing fluffy pockets. Ooh, there's a hidden Mickey standing by back there. And we got a frozen mint julep for the first time. They're five ninety nine, dollars and color. the color is incredible. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. And not only that, I know it looks a little bit gloomy today, but it's hot still. It's warm, the yeah. The summer has been so hot so far, so this is a good treat. Now, what I want to know, is this going to be better than the mint julep in Disneyland? Ooh, wow, that's uh. We already know the beignets are better. I know, well, let's see if... Uh... I mean, this is frozen. That adds another Let's layer. See if it's Let's a two for out. two here. That's delicious. Uh oh. Oh man, it's tart. Got a little bit of mint. Oh my gosh, it tastes kind of like the. Oh man. I wish it had a mint sprig on top. That would be a perfect you touch. You know, it makes up for it with the color. Okay, you're right. But I will say, what this is good with is that it's so limey and tart. Um, it doesn't have a big mint punch. I would say it's got the tiniest little bit of mint in okay. it. Okay. But what it has is that kind of that nostalgic taste of what the um, the mint juleps taste like in Disneyland. I think this might be the, the hack. Come here and get one of these. Well, that is good. I was worried that it was going to be I way too overly sweet. Overly sweet, yeah. but it actually is perfect. It is really good, though. I I would probably split this with you. Yeah, and because we wanted to try the new flavor, we actually got the variety pack. Oh yeah. Um, now, normally it comes with the Bananas Foster, but I have a adverse reaction to 
uh, the artificial banana flavor. Like it literally will turn my stomach. I'm so, an aversion. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Aversion, so. I don't know. Anyway, this is my favorite. Uh, she right swapped here. it out for an original. So you can't just buy one beignet. We wanted to just get the one, but. Oh no, for us, we have to have four beignets. <laughs> Isn't this... Cue the violin! Well, anyway. There's a hypocrisy. Yeah, how horrible. Yes. We have to take these home. Anywho, let's try this new one. It says it's a cookies and cream and it is warm. All these beignets, by the way, when you get them here, they are warm and fluffy. That was my thing was like, if they're not warm, I don't want them. I mean... It's like when I go to Krispy Kreme. I'm only having that when it's warm. Right. I'm not, not, I'm not gonna it. take all that sugar on just for... Right. an average experience. It needs to be amazing. Right. So without further ado, let's try out this cookies and cream uh, beignet. That's delicious. I can smell it from here. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know what it reminds me of? What? The deep fried Oreo at the fair. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that. I like the um, the glazed one that I'm about to try I have again. to say, I took, took a bite. I took a bite out of it. The, yeah, glazed, it the glazed is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, that's the best. It's like a donut. Because it is, it's like a warm, oh, fluffy donut. And I want you guys to see. It's a pillow. Please notice the fluffy right here. That you don't get at Disneyland anymore, sadly. It's it's heartbreaking. You could but literally put a pillowcase on this and sleep on it. It's, you could. It is a pillow. Beignet dreams. <laughs> oh my gosh. Instead of barefoot dreams. I'm glad though, we didn't get the banana one. She was kind enough to give us one of their just original recipe with the, um, I love that I'm talking like I'm talking about Kentucky Fried Chicken. One of the original beignets, and I just love, love, love just the regular powdered sugar. It's so good. That one's the most like the Disneyland ones as far as yeah. uh, flavor profile and all that. Just fluffier and, you know, sorry. I do wish that they had the no mini better. beignets back a long time ago. Yeah. I don't remember before yeah. The closure, that's what they have. Okay, it just started sprinkling. Look at this. I don't, you guys probably can't see it on the camera, but we're getting some uh, some drops. Um, anyways, there's the old avocado fountain, or the agave fountain is probably what it is. Avocado, what am I saying? That's an agave plant. Uh, nice day to sit in the patio, even though uh, we're not having lunch, but I want to have lunch there soon. Yeah, um, maybe right. get... I never see people at sports. Well, they did the outdoor thing. Let's go take a look at that. Okay. They have a new patio over here. Well, this is where they would do those um, activations Maybe for. This is more of a night thing. But remember, what's his name came over here with oh, his tequila. Yeah. yeah but now they've uh, utilized it, right? This right. looks cool. This is the alley in reference to obviously it's a bowling alley, right? Uh, but this also, is their new it's an alley. outdoor um, venue here, which is I, it's kind of cool. Got the Adirondack chairs and. This is just more of an evening, sure. late afternoon gig. It's a beer garden. Yeah. Of sorts. Yeah. Uh, but it's cool. Check out their backdrop for their photo op. It's really cool. They got cornhole. But they also have Katie's favorite game. What is this called again? I don't know. Tiki Toss? Tiki Toss. You got to get it on the hook. I know, and I had just did it when you... Hey! <laughs> Anyways, there's their patio. Oh, there's even a Connect Four over here. And then, of course, you got to keep your drinks inside the alley. But I like their logo. That's cool. All right, moving on. The weather is amazing today. It's so good. Thank you. All right, we're finally seeing some uh, upward construction for the new restaurant, Centrico. Oh, wow. And it looks circular because it's, you know, uh, the, it's, you can see it curving around. Got some of it up there and then the vertical posts on this side. Oh, wow. So we're coming along there. It's going to be really good. I think, um, you know. I looked into that chef. He's, like, le he's legit. Dude. Yeah. It's good. And we love, listen, Southern California, we love our Mexican food. That's so, right. And then if you could, you know. If you could give us good Mexican food in Southern California, you win. Yeah, you we're win. here for it. Let's dip into Wonderground Gallery, see what's going on. Ooh, lots of haunted mansion stuff. Lots of haunted mansion stuff right off the bat. Oh, I love this Tinkerbell t-shirt. It's uh, got a plunging neckline that uh, I wouldn't really. Part of that era's collection. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that is cool. Look at this style. Very flat. I just love how how she's 
like symmetrical with oh, yeah, the no, castle. I love this shirt. The wonderful world of color. That's, that's so great. But look at this shirt. Oh, that's cool. Have we seen this? We have. Oh, wow. Yeah, but there it, is a lot of stuff we've seen before. But I always like their t-shirts here. This is a good one and it's really thick. They're kind of more unique and they're a little more, um, I don't know, artistic, the yeah. shirts here. They're, they're just cooler and you don't find them at other places a lot of the time. He's got an artist back here working, which is really cool to see. And then look at this. Here's that Tomorrowland collection that we uh, saw a while back. They each come with a piece of the rocket. There it is. That's really neat. Oh, the sun popped out and there's a sun dog up there. You guys see that? That's a, that is a classic sun dog right there. That's even without using polarized lenses. With polarized lenses, it looks even cooler. All right, let's head into the home store, yeah, see what they got going. The oh boy, bears. oh boy. And look, at, it's all decorated for fall. Oh, that's cool. Look at the home has Oh, a, that, that is cool. Just all the decorations. If you come in for nothing, even if you don't want to shop for anything, and you yeah. just want to look at all the decorations. I just like how they have their stuff set up. Me too. It, it's different. It's all the same it's, merch, but it looks different. All right, we've got the, uh, the pet costumes and the, is that I a wig? I didn't notice it comes with a little wig. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Just when I didn't think I could get any cuter, That's, they throw it away. That one would win for if we were getting one for Binky, yeah. for sure. Hey, look, it's Huey, Dewey, Louie. That's cool. I think it like spins around and does something. Nightmare Before Christmas table. A lot of the stuff we've seen, pretty much. Modeling, we're modeling. Aww. Good job. I was wondering how that looked. There it is. That is so cute. <laughs> Good dog. And then check this out. They've got the front of these buildings ripped wide open. Former sprinkles and uh, the entrance to the former Catal. Soon to be Paseo. Catal signs still, still up there. Katie's umbrellas are just getting bigger and bigger, guys. I don't know what's happening. This one even has a stand with it. I don't know how you carry this around, but. I, just, I, I lift weights. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I work out a lot. This is nothing for me. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Kidding. Here's a better angle of the ironwork over here at Centrico. There's Carlos. There he is. My new best friend. Okay, I found the uh, the new step and repeat here at Downtown Disney. It's got all the all the businesses represented. You come take your press photos here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so funny. Me believing it's real. Horticulture and Beyond is back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We've got a planter here at Downtown Disney that is just beautiful today. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're getting raindrops again, but it's totally sunny out. I think you can see it, you guys, if you look towards the tree, right? Can you see it? It's so weird. It is time to go check out Marceline's Confectionery, Downtown Disney's premier treat stop. All right, we're checking it out. They're making 100th anniversary Minnie Mouse apples, it looks like right there. All right, look at that, amazing. Monica is an artist. Go Monica, look at the tray that wow. Monica's working on there. Just amazing. So Perfect. a lot of these treats, right, are yeah. all the same things you can almost, find in the park. Yeah, almost, Pretty close. Almost, almost. There's a few things but for the most part, if you want something and you can't get into Disneyland, come over to Marceline's. Yep. We'll kind of show you around Marceline's so you can kind of see what's available right now. Oh, look at these things. Let me, um, the seasonal brownie. That, that is, yeah, I don't wicked. know what it is, but it looks good. Uh, yeah, look at just the s'mores. They even have churro toffee and the Mickey peanut butter sandwich. Those are so popular in the parks. Yeah, they're amazing. The fact that they have them. Hey, look, they've got decorations in the back, Katie. There's. For Halloween. There's a, there's a book opening itself there. You want to celebrate Marshmalloween? Yes. <laughs> All treats marshmallow. And yet even more Halloween decor. Yes, yes. So Marshmalloween, Katie. Oh, I love the, the black cat. Look at him. Vintage style. Yeah. But just so you know, though, a lot of these, like we mentioned earlier, you could totally get in the park you can get here. Some of our favorite things love the lemon burst cookies. A lot of people love the shortbread. For those of you that like power lines, they even sell those here too. They do. Oh yeah, see all this stuff from Toontown, the golly pops, the Scrooge uh, McDuck's coins, and they have all of the coffee. I myself love the lollipop centrifuge. So awesome. There's even frozen treats, Katie. I don't know if people wow. are aware. Yeah, you can get a Mickey's. Uh, yep. Wow, look at that. Also stuff that you can get in the park. The premium bar, the sandwich. 
All right, back into the district. Salt and straw, and right now they have these really cool summer picnic series flavors, limited edition pink rose and watermelon sorbet. That's a vegan flavor. Baked brie and fig cheesecake, chocolate potato salad. What? Cinnamon and honey, fried chicken, and sour cherry pie. So sadly, they don't offer the flight anymore, so we can't do like a tasting. We have promised that we're going to try that chocolate potato salad. I can already tell you we're going to like we're going to regret this. This has mustard ice cream. It has dill in it. There's no way this is gonna be good. Not in any stretch of my imagination is this gonna be good. I thought maybe the redeeming quality would be chocolate fudge. Well, let's That's take a, literally the only normal thing in here. Let's take a look. I can. I think I can see yeah, wait, the mustard portions, look. those bright spots there. And this is just a kid's scoop. See, this would look like a marble fudge to me. I can't really tell. Oh yeah, tell. if you didn't know what this was. Except for that yellowy stuff, which is probably the potato. I don't know. I don't know, but this, this potatoes are a little yellow, right? Yeah, this is. Well, there's, there's only one no way to find way out, this, Katie. Oh, take a take a big it. old bite. You got to take a healthy bite. Oh god. Because you love chocolate and you love potato salad, so there's no reason why you won't like this. Mustard ice cream. That's how. That's a good enough bite. There you go. All right, here we go, Katie, for for science, as you always say. Oh, this is science. This is scaring me because. What if you like it? The, remember the bug ice cream, the creepy crawler one with the matcha and yeah. all the bugs in it? Yeah. This is giving me flashbacks. Okay. You might like this. Or you might really hate it. It might be so gross. Ugh. Oh, I don't like it. I feel like you won't think it's that bad. But I think my problem is, is that I tasted some dill and that did it for me. Everything else was not Dill and horrible. ice cream? Oh my gosh. For this some guy's... reason, I think it was a dill or a mustard. That's what did it for me. There was something in there. I could kind of taste like you know, the savory of the potato-y taste, and I could taste the chocolate, which was good. But then I tasted some sort of mustardy taste, and that did it for me. It was over. So I couldn't get past it. That's what almost gagged me. If I have a prediction, I think you might like it. Okay. Because it's not that horrible for if you're not sensitive to that mustardy taste. It's like I'm going to smell something. I, I know. See, it's the mustardy taste. Here's what's deceiving though. It almost comes off like a brownie flavor. Yeah, the, the fudge is what gets you. But then there's these other flavors that are kind of masked by the brownie. Yes. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not as bad as like you made it out to be because your taste is different than mine. Yeah. But mine's like, I don't know. That's... She ain't liking it. Feet Alicia. Feet Alicia. Alicia. Oh my gosh. She's back. Feet Alicia. We missed you. She's doing the salt and straw flyover. Yeah. <laughs> so we often uh, kind of skip over California Soul shoes and sandals. Um, but, you know, they carry Javianas, which are awesome, and they're themed. I'm wearing them right now. And they have cool, like, sun hats. And I like this, actually, a lot. Yeah. Who makes that? Is this a waterproof? It is. Oh, it's a melon. That's the one you were looking for. Oh, boy. How cool are these uh, flip-flops with all the designs on them? Oh, they carry Reef as well very popular brand in the surfing world. All right, I'm excited because they carry melon hats, which is my favorite. They're waterproof hats. They have a whole plethora of these. I have a, a plain black one that I wear that you may have seen. Um, I'm gonna get this, it's the same hat that I have, but it's well, kind of a dark camouflage. And it's a little bit bigger because uh, they do have different sizes in these. It's, uh, I think it's 69 bucks, but it's a really well-made waterproof hat that lasts. Can we get a discount? Oh yeah, we get the discount. Um, so I'm excited to get that. And then Javiana-wise, look at how cool yeah, these, these are. are. You know what I like is because the band has the graphics on it. That yeah. is crucial because otherwise you're covering it up. You can't see it. How funny is that, that the place that I was literally going to just go, yeah, we never come in here, but it's here and they have Javianas and then I end up spending 60 bucks on a hat after my discount. But I'll wear this a lot, so it's fine. And you know, of course, there's a Sephora down here. There's a Jamba Juice. There's a Pandora. Katie sometimes goes to the Sephora. Um, you won't catch me in there, it's just not my bag. And then Curl Surf has a lot, kind of similar stuff than what we just saw. This is where I get my hats at. Yeah, and I got, this is where I bought my other melon hat, I think. They got some good little foamers, look at those. I'm not retired, but having a good time is my job still, Katie. So. Oh look, so they do have, uh, wow, they have quite a selection actually. I didn't see, look at, they actually have, uh, Curl Surf by Melon, they actually made hats for, for these guys. Oh, hey, look. Malibu gear. I kind of like the colors. I like I that one. I actually do. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's really good. I'm liking their foam hats in aspiring retiree. Billabong coming correct with this color uh, palette this year. Look at this. Wow. We have found ourselves at World of Disney, World of Disney, because some of the windows 
have been decorated for the Halloween season already. And here's the first one right here. This is why Mickey is so freaked out this year. Look at that pumpkin, sinister. You got the other guys up there creeping along the ridge line, trying not to get spotted. Crazy, look at the face on the tree right there. That, is that the, Katie was saying Snow White, right? All the claws. Yeah, I mean, look at that, how that one, their their hands, each of those tree limbs. All right, there's more, there's more, let's go. There is the big Mickey pumpkin with the flame eyes, wicked spooky. That's this year's theme right there. And then right next door to that, look at this one. This is like the biggest one because we've got lights and everything. Hard to see in the daytime, but I'm gonna zoom in and show you Chippendale. They're freaked out, but yeah, I love the lighting effect. And uh, the big pumpkin is, he's after everybody this year. He's just sinister. Look at Mickey's face right there. He is freaked out. He's, he's unsure of what's about to happen. He's like, oh, I love the stuff up top. Happy Halloween, all the different color bats. And that's that color scheme from this year. Earl of Sandwich Tavern, restaurant and bar. It's open and we still haven't done it. Earl of Sandwich, meet Girl of Sandwich. <laughs> hey, they have frozen lemonade in there. I forgot about that. Did they always have that? I think so. Yeah. I'm a little bit hot, tangy, and a little bit country. I don't know if that didn't make any sense, but anyways, Nashville hot chicken, not for me. But if you're into that kind of stuff, the limited time only, come get it. All right, well, that wraps it up. Uh, profitable, I got a new water hat. Uh, I'm gonna use that. I probably should buy more hats since I use them every single day. Yeah. It's one of those things where I go, well, no, it's too expensive. And I'm like, well, yeah, but dude, you wear them. You can use them. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed our Downtown Disney update and our little cruise. It was fun. Yeah, and let us know if you would try that potato ice cream or the potato salad ice cream. Comment below if you would try it. Thank you to our Patreons. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.